Hello, all of you beautiful humans. Welcome, 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 welcome to Menopause and Madness. I am your host, April Rain, and welcome to my midlife crisis. How is everybody doing today? How are you feeling? I hope that everybody is having a wonderful day, night, morning, afternoon, whatever it may be where you are. I hope that it is great. Today, I have something special. But before we do that, let me take a deep breath. And if you feel you need a deep breath yourself, please join me. So I'm going to breathe in. Hold it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. All of the outside woes and fears and negativity and all of the bad outside of our happy little circle where it's just you and me. Yes, yes, today I am so excited, so excited. I have been wanting to open this and see what it's all about. Today I have a mystery package. Okay. When in my adventure on Etsy, when I'm looking for mystery boxes and all different kinds of, of mystery things, I came across a seller who sells letters, letters from the 1800s to the 1980s, and they can be anything. They can be anything from letters from soldiers to just anything and i have not opened this i you they come in packages of 5 10 and 20 i just wanted to start out with the five it was only 14 or I, i'm gonna have to double check that the links to these will be down below i do know that i don't pay more than like 20 dollars for um my mystery boxes anymore. <laughs> and I do have more vintage mystery boxes. I have them here and I'm so excited to open them, but I'm going to wait until so we can open them together. So let's get right to this, shall we? Okay. Now I need to open this. It was just sent in like an envelope. So I will just open it this way. I'm so excited about this because I have a fascination with like postcards and letters. I love letters. Okay. And as I have stated once before, oh, wow, this is so great. This is the full package. And she did send, she sent a postcard. I'm so excited about this because I love postcards. My grandparents had stacks of awesome postcards. And unfortunately, once my mother passed away, uh, another family member got a hold of a lot of things and just destroyed it all, just destroyed it. So I love postcards. I love postcards. Now this postcard is Steeplechase Pier at night, Atlantic City, New Jersey. How gorgeous is that? Now, I'm not seeing a date on the front, but it is postage. And let's see, it is post stamped from, oh my goodness, y'all, 1916. Ninth September of 1916. How awesome is that? What was going on? What was going on? Okay, so this is uh, Mrs. 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 Connor. I can't say it says Mrs. I'm not sure M. O'Connor, and it's Curvinville. I am not sure where that is from. If you can read that, it's awesome. Isn't this awesome? And it says, I am having a fine time down here. We'll write you later. 
your da your daughter amy i am having a fine time down here i will write more later i will write you later your daughter amy so this was to her parents this is awesome this is so awesome i love this so much i am going to cherish this this is gonna go this is gonna go into a journal whether it'll be my journal that i'm doing now or my journal that i will be doing later um this is just awesome. If you are familiar with this place, please let me know. It is gorgeous. There is a full moon. How awesome is this? How awesome. And I love that it's got the one cent postage with looks like George Washington is on there. So that is very awesome. Now this is wrapped in what looks like a spreadsheet type thing. And she says, thank you wrapped in this and then this other sheet i think this is my okay this is my okay so it was 14.99 for a five pack random mystery letters from 1880 to 1980 awesome this is so awesome y'all i'm so excited about this okay i'm gonna try to gently oh and no gently there Okay, and I'm opening the package, and inside we have letters. Oh, this is so much fun. This is so much fun, y'all. I love this. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five letters, of course. Okay, let's start with this one. This is from April. April, and it says AM 1965 airmail aloha from hawaii miss kathy bonner and also from new jersey look at this envelope look how gorgeous this envelope is on the back from san tropez maybe san Fra san francisco california that's the return address. So again, the front of the envelope. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Now these letters, of course, they have been opened. So this one was opened very nicely. Now that is one thing I was worried about was not being able to read these. Now this is on stationery. Very, very awesome stationery. The top says aloha from hawaii the 50th state 31st of march 1965. i love the smell of old paper i love the smell of old paper 1965 y'all now i'm going to read this best i can dear kathy i got myself new paper so i figured i'd try it out you don't mind do ya I mean, for me to experiment on you, I'm glad you don't. We are sorry to see, we are sorry to see for, we are going to see for two weeks. Please bear with me. You know, other people's writing can be so difficult sometimes, but I'm going to read it the best that I can and um, use your imagination. Use your imagination. That. I just love this. I love this and I really hope you do too. Okay, let's get back to the letter. I got myself new paper, so I figured I'd try it out. You don't mind, do ya? I mean, for me to experiment on ya. I'm glad you don't. We are going to see for two weeks. We are going to play plain guard for the USS Bennington. It's what it says. We are going to play plain guard for the USS Bennington. I love this aircraft carrier. So it's the USS, he, he or she is on the USS Bennington aircraft carrier. We pick up the pilots who ditch in the blue Pacific. Ain't that fun? 
how come I didn't receive any mail from you today? You don't love me anymore. Maybe you are interested in someone else, question mark. Well, question mark. What then? Question mark. Can't, can it be homework? No, not you. Let's see. Laziness, possibility, busy, perhaps. Well, I am, I am waiting, kid. What might it be? Oh, what a sin. I have to be on this. What a sin. I have to be on this tub for a whole weekend and just got off a duty weekend. Why are they so mean to me? What did I do? I am just a clean cut, red blooded American male. What do they have against me? This is really a pathetic week. I have a lot of gear down and I have no slack for a long time. I think I'll hand in my resignation. Oh, how I wish. I finally got my income tax back. My mother and father just had their fifth anniversary, their 25th anniversary. I'm sorry. And I gave them, I gave them a $20 bill. Ain't I just sweet? I couldn't spare the other five. Well, I gotta go now. Be good and write back soon or else. Love and kisses, Frankie. Oh my goodness. So the USS Bennington um, in Hawaii. So he must be stationed in Hawaii. When this beautiful beautiful stationery to his love Kathy I love this this is literally giving me chills I love this let me know what you feel about this if you know anything about the USS Bennington in 1965 or just your feelings about it that is still giving me, it's still giving me chills. It's still giving me chills. Just thinking 1965. Wow. And he sent it to New Jersey. He must be stationed in Hawaii, but the sending, it says FPO. So isn't that like first private officer, San Fran, California. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all about that. That was a very awesome letter. I am literally getting chills down to my feet. Just thinking of that period of time, you know, he's writing to his lady and he doesn't know like, you know, what's going on. I mean, just think of that. I, I, I can't put myself in that position, but to me being an ultimate romantic that just hits me right in the heart. You know, I love it. I love it. Okay. So next we have, it says on the corner after five days, return to G E O W Purnell snow Hill, Maryland. And it says Mrs. G E O Purnell hotel. Wow. I can't read that Liberty. Sullivan, New York. Now it is ripped on the edge. And this is postmarked September 14th, 19. Oh my gosh, my bad. September 14th, 7 a.m., 1895. 1895. 1895, y'all. Wow. Okay. We have our letter. I am so happy I did this. I am going to do this again. Even if this is something that y'all aren't really interested in and you don't want to hear these letters, I am going to do this again for myself because this is just, it's just awesome. Okay. This paper is rather thick. It's rather thick. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. G E O. 
okay so G geo w purnell attorney at law snow hill maryland september 11th 1896 my dear wife dear little francis was so anxious to write mama a letter and asked me to mail it she is the sweetest child in the world the ink uh gosh i'm so sorry the inquisitors have nearly all vanished have nearly all vanished her i'm so sorry i is so difficult she insists on going all around the garden and lot with me and the okay the mosquitoes have nearly ate have nearly devoured her okay so we're getting it we'll we'll work this together right she is the sweetest child in the world the mosquitoes have nearly ate devoured her she insists on going all around the garden and lot with me and the mosquitoes are worse than i have ever known them the the diving the dining room is full annoying annoying at meal time you have gotten in the bedroom i'm so sorry this makes it hard maybe i should skip this one for now until i can read it better um at meal time we've gotten in the bedroom this the bathroom is full i have gotten quite well have no pain but my strength does not return no letter from you today disappointed me even so much disappointed me ever so much neglect by my children may be endured but my dear wife any any intention on you have goes have indeed i'm sorry let me know each day know you and ethel of all of us here are well i hear of no sickness in snow hill with lots of love and kisses from all of us something kiss for yourself from your office from okay kiss from yourself from and then something husband it is pretty difficult to read but i look i would i would like to sit with this and try to figure out what it says just the fact it is from 1896 1896 and he's a lawyer from snow hill maryland and it's a letter to his wife that is just amazing i know we didn't we couldn't really glean much from this letter and i'm sorry about that but some of the writing is just it's just too hard for me to read i can't understand it but i will sit with it and um maybe come back and tell you a little bit more about what was going on in that letter. What do you think about that? Okay, this one is from Private Bernard Mann, Stewart Hall, Class 1-43-D, Weatherford, Weatherford, Oklahoma, to Miss Elaine Stahl, uh, 854 North Alfred Street, Los Angeles, California. Airmail, airmail. And this is from, it's hard to see. It says 1940. Here is the stamp. And it says right there, 1940. And I'm not sure what year. So maybe inside there will be a year. But look at that. So the 40s from a soldier. Oh, and it's typed. How lucky are we today? Okay, let's see. And this is pages. 
texture we have and it's oh okay so it looks okay so there are there are typed and handwritten february 20th 1943 10 a.m darling good morning dearest here i am back in school and piled down with back work I'm going to have to really hit the books over the weekend because I'm behind two tests in correspondence and one in supply and I have a final in military organization Monday morning. Oi, well honey, it's going to be two more short weeks for me and I'll be on my way again. Sometime within the next two weeks, I'll go in the office and ask about my request. There may be a chance that it will come through. A very slim one though. But I've still got hope. It is too it is too perfect to be true, honey, but you can't tell that fate deals out. You can't tell what fate deals out nowadays. This is one hell of an uncertain life you live in the army. You can't tell what's coming next and you can't do anything about it after it happens. You just have to grin and bear it. One thing sure this war can't last forever that touches my heart. It's just a matter of spending the next year or so in the most pleasant way as possible. Of course, we'll see each other as much as it, as it is hum, humanly possible. Every opportunity I get to see you, I'm going to jump. Honey, believe me, I won't miss one move in paving the ground for as many little meetings of two people who are in love as can be possible made. Love you. I am not going to do much reading today as I don't want to take any chance with my eyes. They don't bother me now, but the measles always weakens a person's eyes. He has measles. I'm still wearing my dark glasses and I keep them closed every chance I get. They're closed right now. Please insert a H in chance. I'm not sure what that means. Page two, just think, honey, because this is front and back. Just think, honey, only two more weeks of school. Then we'll again, I say, I love you and let fate take care of our little life. Honey, I know we'll get a break, whatever happens. If things don't work out the way we have them all dreamed up and they get pretty tough, it's probably for the best. These are pretty tough times, honey. And we have to try our best to stay the same people that we were before the war and this great new change in life. I sort of go on living without even thinking of what is happening to me. I spend most of my time in my little world in the back of my head with a little, with a little stinker, -ka? stinker, -ka? I don't know what that means. I find it a little more pleasant. Nobody is gaining anything by living the life that is found around here in the army. I can't explain what I mean, honey. You sort of lose the value in being an individual. You're satisfied without just being in step when you're marching and you consider yourself very, very smart if you can find ways to gold brick. Honey, I did a lot of thinking while I was laying in bed when I finished school and I began to have a little time of my own at nights. Once and for all, I'm going to attempt to get down to business and make use of some valuable time that is wasted by doing some heavy reading or studying. I'm not going to be satisfied unless I can account for every minute of the time I have to spend in the army with some accomplishment of learning. I'm going to do some more reading on psychology and philosophy, or maybe I better learn how to spell it before I try to learn about it. <laughs> That's cute. Honey, I have to do something to get my mind off of feeling sorry for myself. It's just plain dumb being lonesome because there is nothing you can do about it. I can't just get up and leave for L.A. I'm probably just talking through my hat again <laughs> as usual, honey, but I can see that in the future that I want to take care of you the right way. I had better know something when I get out of the army besides marching and making up my bed. Nothing to learn in the army will do you any good except some of the habits you develop. And I intend to develop some good study habits. I'll never get a chance to go to school again. And once I'm out of the army and married, I won't have much time to learn. 
So now is the time. So what I want you to do is keep reminding me of what I just said. I always get the right thoughts, but I never do anything about them. Once and for all, I'm going to see if I have any stick to it at all. Love you. Guess what? I have to pay income tax. I don't know the exact sum of my earning for last year. I think my previous employers will send me a record of my earnings. They should because they're required to do so by law. It should be around 700 dot 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 tax $35. I should get two letters from you today as I didn't receive one from you yesterday. I'll know I'll know at mail call this lunchtime. I sent all my laundry out and then I'll have a complete clean wardrobe to start out with on my new job. I'm sure anxious to see the pictures. I'll probably get them tomorrow afternoon. Speaking of tomorrow afternoon, we go a little 10 mile hike scheduled for us. They say we haven't had enough fresh air because of the quarantine. They can find more ways to make us work on Sundays, our only day off that a chicken can to lay eggs. So what? Love you. Please excuse me. I'm just blabbering on. I really don't have anything to say of any importance. If anything new ever happened in Weatherford, half the people would die from overexcitement. What a hole in the ground. I hope I get near a great big city with electric lights and with electric lights and more than one show. Time for the break. I'm going to take a 10 minute rest. Be right back. Love you. Wow. So I'm guessing that he's writing this at different points. I, it's really a swell day out. If you find any typing errors or spelling, it's because of these dark glasses. It's pretty hard to write and type at the same time. I get thinking ahead and forget about all my typing. One thing you understand about my letters for sure is that I love you. I sure feel rested up. It sure didn't do me any harm being on that short vacation. I sure got over the measles fast. Two days. Most of the fellows were in for four or five days. I must have had them a few days before I found out. I'm so dark skinned you can't tell until the red spots come out real bright. I'm going to write my folks about the measles tonight so you can tell them Sunday when I call you. That tomorrow this week went pretty fast. Only two more to go and they'll go fast as I have a lot of final tests to worry about. I really don't care what kind of grade I get as long as I learn something and get my ratings when I get on the job. When I don't hear from you for one day, it feels like it's been a month. In another hour, I'll know what my little Stinkerka has been doing for the last few days. So he must call her Stinkerka. See, it, that's, you know, because it's typed. But I don't know if it is a typo or because he does have a, a little bit of some spelling issues. But, you know, nothing too nothing too crazy. My little stinkerka. If that is some type of, of like endearment in another language, can someone please let me know? My little stinkerka has been doing for the last few days. Honey, did I ever tell you that I love you? I love you. It's so, so precious. My hair is just about natural again. At least they have to kill me before I take another at Last, they have to kill me before I take another GI haircut. It feels good to look in the mirror and recognize yourself for the first time in three months. Honey, I'm going to do a little studying now. I'm excused from typing and as I don't want to use my eyes too much, but I better do the exercise as I just have to make them up anyways. I'll write a few more lines tonight for maybe this afternoon after I, after I get you most welcome after i get your most welcome letters see you very soon love you ee -E, soon okay and it continues <laughs> love you at the top and now it's in red ink red typed ink that's kind of fun just received two letters from you the one you wrote on wednesday and your thursday letters with the cute pictures it sure felt strange to look at the pictures and see you again I don't know why you think they're not very good. I think they're sweet. I like your new dress too. Or is it your auntie's? 
honey, if you have time, take some more pictures. You look like you lost a little weight or you got taller. Did you grow any? I'm sorry to hear that Lenny joined up. Oh, well, the draft would get him sooner or later anyways. Dearest, I hope you don't count on our deal too much. You don't know how funny the army is. Although we can still have plenty of hope, we're not beaten yet. In fact, I have a strange feeling that it's going to go through. Boy, we'll get married before you can say Jack Robinson. Love you. Sweets, I have to study very hard tonight, and if I know that I have to write to you, I won't be able to keep my mind on my studies, so I'll end this letter now. Thanks for the pictures and send some more. There is a W in the first word of this paragraph. Thanks again for the swell pictures. You looked very sweet, and I love you very much. I'm counting the days until we'll be together. See you very soon. I'll write a long letter tomorrow after I call you if I can get out of the 10-mile hike we have scheduled for tomorrow. Honey, I've decided not to read for a whole week as it's very easy to ruin your eyes for the rest of your life right after you have the measles. After school in a half hour, I'm going over to the doctor and have him wash my eyes out with Argoral. Argoral. I'll get average grades without studying a few good grades is not worth my good eyesight. It's sure a nice day outside, real sunny and perfect. Perfect day for the beach. Put on your bathing suit and let's jump in the car and bear it down to the wave crest for an hour or two. Honey, I think your pictures are very good. Please take some more. You look much taller in all the pictures and you also look like you lost some weight. Or did I say that already? What I mean is thanks for the pictures. I'm just going to take it easy the next week or so and pick up what I can in class from the discussions. I don't think they would flunk me out if I happen to get a few low grades, as I have a 97% average in supply and 94% in correspondence. I don't know why I even give it a thought. I never was interested in grades anyways. Love you just the same. Well, honey, as all good things must come to an end, this letter must come to an end. I don't mean the letter, but the fact that it makes me feel just like you were here and I was talking to you. It won't be too long and I'll be holding you close and maybe a little E-E -E on the side. Two capital E's on the side. Two more weeks. Amen. 98 hours of school. I'll write a few more lines tonight before I go into dreamland. Being I can't write or read, I'll listen to the radio. Go to sleep early, too, as then tomorrow will come real fast, and I'll get to talk to my honey, Stinkerka. That term of endearment is very odd to me, but sweet at the same time. But Stink, it's spelled S-T-I-N-K-E-R-K-A. So like Stinkerka, see you soon, love you. I've still got a few minutes and I might as well type as it won't bother my eyes as much as writing will. Sweets, I don't appear to be too excited about what Sammy said because I don't want to be, I don't want to be disappointed whenever I get too excited over something. It usually never happens, but that don't mean I'm not praying every second for it. It seems too good to be true, although a lot of fellows get lucky breaks like that. And I don't know any reason I shouldn't be one of them. Do you? All I know for sure is that I'll be seeing you in the near future, no matter what. I guess I've said that a million times, but that the way, but the way things stand, this boy here is too much in love to be separated from his little gal. Okay. Okay. So we still have a little bit more to go. This is turning out to be a long letter at that, or am I just repeating myself as usual? It must get pretty boring reading over the same thoughts in one letter. Honey, there is nothing new around here to write about. In two weeks, I'll have plenty to write about. By the way, I'll be getting paid again in eight or nine days. I should get around $90 in American money. I've still got $8 from the 15 from last month's pay. From no, now on, I'll always keep a balance of $15 on me and send the rest home for my little gal's pin money. That money in the back will come in handy in about three or four weeks when you take a little trip to see 
your boyfriend for a week or so, or it might mean bridal money if a certain deal goes through, for which I am praying. Slowly but surely, I'm running out of gab. Let's see what I can write about. I told you about the moron who tried to put a diaper on a cigarette butt. A diaper on a cigarette butt. Is that, I, I'm not sure what that means, but I'm thinking it's like a, um, like a filter, maybe a filter on a cigarette. Cause I'm not sure. Remember this is 1943 in the, in the military. So I told you about the moron. That's so funny who tried to put a diaper on a cigarette butt. So I don't have any jokes to write about. How much was the telephone bill? Dentist, how things in general treating you? You should be sick one of these days, let me know. Johnny comes, I'll spell Johnny, Johnny, or was it Junior that went on a vacation? However, you know what I mean. Johnny, Johnny, please send me the correct spelling before I break this typewriter in half. Swedes, the period is over. All right, tonight. See you soon. And then we see he has written in handwriting and February. It says, good morning, lover. Well, honey, only one more Sunday. Call you from this place. And I've been on my way to Cali to see, and I'm sorry. It is very, very difficult to read his handwriting which I'm also going to be sitting with this letter because I have got to know what he's talking about. I know it wasn't the most exciting letter, but just hearing and, and, and thinking about him being in this place, you know, and writing to, you know, his love. I've always, that that's always been like such a romantic vision for me is being in the military and then having to write letters to your love and then being on the other side where you are, you know, most likely a woman, you know, and then waiting for the letters from your love, hoping that he's still alive even. So yeah, that, that letter was very interesting. And I'm going to sit with a seven page letter, actually nine with these two. So how interesting and I'm not sure. Let me know your thoughts down below if you'd like. I know I have a couple more letters. Um, okay, let me put this letter back. Okay. So I have a couple more letters that look like they're very short. Now this one is to Jack Ward. Warrensburg, Illinois from, this is another, um, private first class that is in San Francisco, California. And this is 1960, 1960. Wow. Um, in the back, it says salt shakers, major game airmail. I, it's, <laughs> I, I don't know what that means, but I love how people were so gracious opening their mail so that the envelopes stay in pretty great condition. Oh, I can't get over the wonder. I love the smell of older paper. Okay, October 8th, 1960, a Saturday. Dear Mama and Dad. So this is to the mother and the father. Look at the stationery. How gorgeous is that? And it says, make a budding geisha girl. Make a, M-A-I-K-A, make a budding geisha girl. Wow, that is gorgeous right there. Now, honestly, I don't think I'm going to be able to read this letter right now. But we have another one that's a samurai doll at boys festival samurai doll at boys festival how gorgeous is that that is gorgeous okay so this is a letter to his parents and he is in the military also he has gorgeous handwriting it reminds me of my grandfather's 
Um, but I need to sit with these letters so that I can make sure. And if anything, because I can read this, it's just I don't want to sit here and be trying to break it up where it's just too hard for y'all to follow along. That is awesome, though. And like I said, I very much will be ordering more of these. And I will most likely get the 20 package. So that way, next time I do this, I can I'll, I can pick out letters that are easier to read. I don't want to read them ahead of time, honestly, because I want you to experience this joy and this, this like time with me, you know? Like as I read these letters, you can just sit back and, you know, use your imagination about what's going on, what the, you know, reminisce about that kind of thing. Okay. This last letter we have here is also from a private first class ward. Um, this is another letter that is to the same family. And this is in 1958 and he is in the Navy. He is in the Navy. I'm saying, cause it says that on there. I love these, these letters, aren't these letters in these envelopes supposed to be like from far away places? I'm also curious about that last big long letter when they said, he was talking about money and he said an American money. So I'm, that just has me curious. Like, is he stationed in a place? I mean, cause it's the army. So aren't they paying him in American money? Like, cause the army is American or maybe I just don't know. I don't know. So maybe if you know a little bit about that, I would love to hear any stories or if any familiarities, if you, this resonates with you, I would love to have a discussion about this. This is so much fun to me. I really hope you're enjoying it. And I mean, if you're not, if this is something that you just don't like, I mean, I can hear about that too, because I don't want to be doing this if y'all don't want to be, you know, hearing this. So here we have Tuesday, the 23rd, 1958, September. And this is also, I can't, it's that smell, you know, that smell of old, old paper. That's a good smell a library smell when you're back in the stacks. You know what I mean? Oh, and I love it. And it is again, dear mom and dad. My back feels a little better this morning, but my neck is still a little sore. So, you know, that picture of Darlene and kids you sent me, that wasn't a very good picture. <laughs> um, you could borrow Harry's seven and projector to show them with it. So I'm going to sit with these. So that way I can get a better grasp on being able to read them to you. And I can maybe write what it says, you know, so I can read it and show you. But look at this. He has gorgeous handwriting and some of it is very easy to read and some of it just isn't. And this is just a two page letter. Your loving son and Marine Terry, write often. Tell everyone I said hi. Your loving son and Marine. So, yeah. Let me know, everybody. Let me know what you thought of this video, what you thought of these letters, and what your thoughts are on future letters. Um, I am totally stoked about this. And even if I do not continue reading these on my channel, I very much will continue, um, receiving these because, well, I, I, I will probably buy one more pack and get a pack of 20, but I can see this something being totally like addictive. You know what I'm saying? I mean, right there, just having two different letters from the same person to his family. I mean, that's starting to build a little bit of a, of a relationship in a sense, you know, seeing and reading these parts about their lives and the ones, especially from the soldiers, you know, seeing how it was for them. 1943, you know, from a lawyer to his wife in 18, what was that? 65, 95, 1895, 1895. 
just seeing and and seeing how they spoke and it, it's just it's awesome so please let me know how you all feel about that and um, what you thought about the letters today and if it brought up any memories or um memories of a loved one in the military or you being in the military um let me know and thank you again for joining me thank you so much you know i love every single one of you i adore your comments your emails i just adore all of you please don't forget about the giveaway that we have going on for the 2500 um, members we have now and uh, if you're new here thank you thank you for joining us please please consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if if you are not liking this comment and uh but please hit one of the thumbs up or down because it lets youtube know that i have real people watching and it helps me with this channel it helps me to continue with this channel which this channel has which you are our part of which you are our our part of have helped me so much in this last year so much i can't even express so thank you again for being here and hanging out um and I will see you in the next video. And please, please remember to be kind humans.